Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for a tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make some cool custom furniture without custom content or mods and yeah with the base game only because if you know me you know that I love coming up with things with only the base game but without further ado, let's get into it so that I can show you some useful tricks. As you can see right now, the first thing we are trying to do is trying to come up with some more interesting kitchen counters and to do this you only simply have to use a small painting. They are in the debug section of the menu. And to find these paintings, you need to type in the cheats that I showed you previously. Um, so show it an objects. And then you need to type in painting in the search bar. Then all you have to do is to remove the wall behind the counters because otherwise they're going to stick to it and simply place them in front of the counters. The counters are fully functional and yeah, they look really nice in my opinion. And you can do this with any type of counter you want. Right now I'm using the industrial ones because I really like the wood texture on top of them. Obviously they are base game. And now what I'm doing is I'm placing these objects and I'm pretending that they look like ender endlers, I think they're called. And to do that I indeed I am using some more debug objects and yeah, you can see all the objects I'm using on screen. Obviously I've written down the names so that you can find them really easily. Some of them are debug objects, some of them aren't. For example, this is a base game shelf. It's the simplest shelf that we have in game. I think it's called the Immaculate. And yeah, I think it looks really, really cool. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to frame the fridge uh, in a way that it's still functional. All you have to do is using a kitchen hood. Um, I'm using this one. It's uh, for the tallest height wall in game. And as you can see, it's going to frame the fridge really, really nicely. And then I'm doing the same thing with the um, kitchen counter. And so I'm going to place some more uh, you know, debug white canvas and this is the final result. I think it looks really really nice and obviously you can have a lot of different colors by just changing the swatches. For this second kitchen we are going to do the same exact thing that we have just done. The difference is that instead of using a blank canvas, so a white painting from the debug menu, so instead of roaming around through all the messy debug menu, we are going to use some gallery art. Gallery art is a no CC art that our sims can paint themselves. And yeah, it's no CC and it's really, really cool. A lot of amazing creative people put a lot of custom art in onto the gallery. So if you look for custom art, you'll find plenty of art. For this example, I'm using some art that I painted myself. As you can see, it's the pattern from the Eco Lifestyle wallpaper, but of course it's base game only. And once again, the counters are completely functional. And in this case, they are even more unique than before. And yeah, now I'm just decorating and I think it looks really, really cool. I've used this trick in some of my past builds and I've had a lot of questions on how to do it and now you can see it for yourself. And now we are going to work on one of my favorite things to come up with in game, which is a custom fireplace. Of course it's functional, of course it's base game only, needless to say, given that you're watching a tutorial on base game only furniture, so yeah, um, duh, thank you. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we are going to use some basic base game shelves and then this rounded fountain. It's a simple rounded fountain and the funny thing about this fountain is that even though yeah, I'm going to place a lot of wooden logs on it, it will, um, you know, 
spray water anyway because it's a fountain but as you can see now i shrunk down this fireplace and i've raised it up once because to be able to turn on the fireplace the sims need to see the fireplace so yeah it needs to be visible despite it being hidden inside of the fountain but as you can see the top is visible and then i've just covered the whole of the fountain with more base game shelves and now i'm just going to put a lot of wooden mm, you know objects on top of it so that it looks like you know it's wood for a fireplace nothing fancy nothing weird just decorating a bit more and very very soon you're going to see that this fireplace is fully functional because i'm going to call in my sim self to turn it on and yeah i think it looks very very cool but definitely let me know what you think about it if you think it looks cool as you can see it's fully functional As you can see right now we are trying to create a custom TV unit and it's really simple and I think it looks unique and different given that in the base game there aren't a lot you know of TV stands, TV units. All you need are these debug bands, they can be found in the debug menu, you just need to type in the two cheats that I wrote previously so show hidden objects and show live edit objects and then you need some shelves so some simple base game shelves and then you just need to frame the shelves with these debug vents I think it looks really really nice really really modern but I think that it can go very very well also you know in more rustic homes more you know not necessarily ultra modern homes and then I'm just going to use some more debug objects. I think this is a pen, I'm not entirely sure actually, um, but I'm using them just as a decoration to create, you know, some handlers to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then you just can decorate as you want, you know, the shelves to make it look more interesting and, you know, more cozy, more, li more lived in. But I hope you're going to like this little trick. The last trick that I want to share with you all is a floating desk and it's very very simple and really easy to achieve. You just need a shelf and a table, practically you just need to place the shelf at the same level or at the same height of the table, then you just need to place you know, a computer or whatever you want on the table and just plop in a chair, you know, let it slot onto the table and then you just need to size down the table and yeah that's it practically then you can simply hide the table because otherwise you remain with that tiny teeny table just right under the shelf and yeah just decorate however you want obviously it's functional you're going to see really really soon that my sim self is just going to sit down and you know play some games there, is, there she is but if you like this video please leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah Hopefully I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!